Good morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. How are you doing? Listen, on this morning, I'm talking about victory over your storm. Victory over your storm. I believe your life is getting ready to be blessed by the word of the living God. But before we jump into the word of God, I want you to join in with me as we worship and sing, He's able. God is able to do, come on, just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill, he's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. Because he's able, oh, oh, oh. He's able. Come on, sing it with me this morning. Oh, 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 he's able. God is able. Sing it. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Cause he's able, oh, 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 he's able, he's able. My God, we love you this morning. Father, we love you this morning. We worship you. We honor you this morning. Bless your people through the word of God. Encourage them, strengthen them, lift their burdens. Give them answers and let them see results. Don't let us just preach and they not experience it, what we are preaching. Let them experience it. Let them walk in it. Let it take over their situations and work miracles like only you can. Honor your word, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. So on this morning, we are talking about victory over your storm. Continuing in the same vein, we were talking about mountain moving faith. We will see a clear demonstration of this in the life of Christ along with his apostles. Listen to the word of God in the book of Mark chapter four, beginning at verse 35, all the way down to verse 41. I'm reading from the New Living, New Living Translation. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. Jesus said, King James said, he said, let us go over to the other side because he was on a mission. The apostles didn't know what mission he was on, but the devil had a clue on what mission Christ was on because on the other side of the lake was a demon possessed man, five regions, were held in bondage by the enemy. Jesus was heading to the other side to set that man free by the power of God, which later you will see that the whole region ended up getting saved as a result of one man. So Christ was on a mission. So he said, let us go over or let us cross to the other side of the lake. Someone's about to cross something in their life. Verse 36, so they took Jesus in the boat and started out leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon, you see, when you begin to obey the word of God, everything may be smooth sailing. Listen to what the Bible says, but soon a fast storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill up with water. That devil was trying to kill them. The devil was trying to cause a shipwreck to happen. He was trying to destroy their boat and everyone that was on board. But he picked, glory to God, he picked the wrong boat to pick on because Jesus was on board. And this is where one of my mom's favorite saying comes in. If Jesus is in the vessel, you can smile at the storm because you can't go under for going over. He didn't say you're going under, you're going over. And even if the ship were to be destroyed, we are going over on the word of God. He said, you're 
He said, let's cross over. He said, nothing about going under. My God, my God, I feel that anointing. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Victory over your storm. Victory, 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 victory. Somebody say it with me. Victory, victory. Victory. Glory to God, victory. Watch this. So the Bible says, but soon a fast storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill up with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. Only God can sleep in a storm. My God. The disciples woke him up shouting, teacher. Man, that would have been me. <laughs> I've been in a situation. I said, Lord, you got to do something about this. Teacher, don't you care that we are going to drown? You see, that quick, the word of God, they let go of the word. Jesus said, we're crossing over. He said nothing about drowning. But you know, this was real. And listen, it's okay to let your emotions come out there. Amen. When Jesus woke up, you got to get him up. That's the key to victory over your storm. You got to cry out to him. You got to call on him. My God, my God, my God. I say you got to call on him. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous, they run there in and they are safe. He said in Jeremiah, call unto me. And I will answer you and show you great and mighty things you know not. He is a prayer answering God. He is in the storm with you. You're not in it by yourself. But this storm is coming to a close. My God, I shared the word last night. We're coming into a season of rest, peace. Watch this. Jesus was sleeping in the back of the boat with his head on the cushion and they begin to scream. Verse 39, when Jesus woke up, oh, something's gonna happen when God get up. God arise and let your enemies be scattered. My God, when Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, silence, be still. The KJV said, peace, be still. My God, suddenly, the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Do you see that? There was a great storm and now there's a great calm. You're coming into a season of rest. You're coming into a season of peace. If you had great trouble, you're about to experience great triumph. If you had great losses, you're about to experience great gain. Somebody lift their hands to heaven. Hey, Sata Ramando Lobosa. Hallelujah, someone was, just, someone was just healed right on the bottom left side. On the bottom left side of your stomach going towards your left side there, you were healed. The power of God was released. I felt it, there's an anointing. Hallelujah, come on, lift your hands to heaven. Oh, come on and worship him. Oh, we give you praise, oh God. Victory over your storm. He said, silence, be still. And there was a great calm. Then he asked them, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. The key to victory over your storm is to call on Jesus with everything you got until he responds. Because when he responds, it's over for your storm. It's over for your trial. It's over for your pit. It's over for your lion's den. It's over for your fiery furnace. Somebody shout victory over my storm. Victory, 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 victory. I feel it this morning. Victory. God is dishing it out. You're coming into a new season. A season of great calm, great peace, great rest. The Bible says great peace. Have they that love thy word, and nothing shall cause you to stumble. Victory over your storm. God, I thank you for victory over the storm. Thank you for my brothers and sisters this morning. I join my faith with them. Thank you for giving them victory over their storms, 
over their trials, over their sicknesses, over their financial problems. Thank you for giving them victory in their marriage, on the job, in their business, in their ministry, in that church. Victory! Hallelujah! Mighty God, mighty God. Oh, we love you. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. For you are great. Come on. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Come on, sing it to him this morning. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You deserve the glory and you deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name because you deserve the glory listen here saints i want to give you a chance on this morning to sow a seed into the kingdom of god this is the work of god whatever you do god honors it just do what you can don't we serve a good god to sow a seed into the ministry to give a donation or offering you can visit us online right now on our secure ministry website seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries you can also mail in your donations to the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pender Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011-7442. And know this, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we appreciate you so much. We know how hard you work for your finances. We don't take it for granted. We honor you and we pray that God bless you and honor you for your faithful support and prayers. We appreciate you more than you know. All right, and I want to give you a chance that's watching us through our YouTube channel and you did not have a chance to subscribe. If you're being blessed, go ahead right now. Scroll over me and my wife's photo. When the box slides out, click on the subscribe button. Once you click subscribe, make sure to click on the dark gray bell that will turn on your notifications. And every time we upload new morning prayer broadcast, you will receive all of the notifications. And we guarantee you, my friend, because of the word of God, your life will never be the same.